Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix, and once again, I am joined with Kenzie. <laughs> Hello, I am so bad. I'm so glad to be back here yet again. Were, were you about to say that you're so back to be glad? <laughs> I'm so bad to be glad, yep. Yep. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> so exactly. The wheel has spoken once again, and we have landed upon my fucking favorite straight ship in total yes. drama of uh, Bridget X Jeff. This should be interesting. Yes, Betty. It, I feel like it's been a hot minute since we read these, pe like uh, uh, these two. Yeah, uh, they had they had a lot of McFlurries. Uh, they're <laughs> they're bonding a lot, and then. Yeah. I remember Duncan being like, you know this is just a bet, right? You don't have to actually fall for this girl. So right. I'm I'm still calling it. She's gonna find out it was a bet and she's gonna be heartbroken. Yep. I I, I bet a I bet a hundred dollars that, that yeah, is exactly it's, what's gonna it's happen. Probably going to happen. Poor Bridget. Yeah, she deserves better, but I guess her yes. better is Jeff. Anyone's yep. better than Alejandro, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. So we're on chat- I almost fucked up this because it's in Roman numerals. <laughs> <laughs> we're on chapter 7 right now, and judging yes. by what's left, we could finish this today. Yeah? Yeah, there's only five chapters left, depending on how long they are. We might be able to finish this today. If not, then we can do another session, but okay. this should be interesting. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Ends, dude. <laughs> All right, I have this remote to flip. I finally got a remote to flip. Um, do you want to be the side that has the buttons or the back side? Um, I'll do the side that has the buttons. Alrighty. This buttons. All right, let's do this. Okay, chapter seven, Jeff's POV. Hey, Jeff, said Dakota, running through the halls. Hey, cuz, I said, smiling, yo, my goth, yo, my goth cousin. Huh? Wait, Dakota's goth? I didn't think she was goth. Uh, <laughs> me neither. Unless they're confused there was like, Gwen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, then. Yep. So, so, what's up, she asked as we started... As we started walking to our 17th century literature class, much I shrug. It's the truth. There's nothing. There's nothing ready to tell at school. It's outside where all the fun happens. I mean, even outside of school, Dakota is a famous model with many fans. She's even been invited to the big Victoria's Secret show. I heard you're seeing a girl. She said, playfully elbowing my shoulder. What? I asked, dumbfounded. Who was I seeing? Don't play dumb with me, Jeffy. That hippie girl Bridget, I think her name was, she said. You- Who told you about Bridge? I asked. Aha! You admit you're seeing her, yes! My player cousin finally got- Got a girlfriend, she said, doing a mini happy dance. <laughs> Don't get too ahead of yourself, dudette. We're just friends, and once again, who told you, I asked. Courtney, she pouted, probably upset we weren't dating. <laughs> I rolled my eyes. Of course. Hey, I also heard you're going to Malibu, Malibu and you need another person to fly, she said. Actually, we're going to Violet Lit. We're going to Violet Lit. I started before she grabbed my shirt collar. Oh, please, Jeffy. Can I please go with you? I need to meet this Bridget and find your ship. <laughs> and find your ship name and see your future kid. What your future kids will look like. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bro, we already know the ship name. It's, it's Gidget. <laughs> yeah, Gidget. And see how many, and see how many you will have. Please, she patted, tugging at my shirt and shaking me around. I sighed. I guess we can take you. Oh, thanks, Jeff. You're the best cousin ever, she said, kissing my cheek before jumping away. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's also been so enthusiastic into my relationships. I don't know why, but I guess my love life appealed to her more than, appealed to her more than my other cousins, Sammy and Amy. Wait, Sammy and Amy? Well, I what? guess in this story they're they're related. <laughs> I guess because they're blonde. Yeah. yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I smiled and followed her down the hall. Maybe it's because I found the right girl this time. Mm -hmm. It was now officially noon and I was excited for my picnic with Bridget. I guess I was really happy to see her. 
especially since last night. I guess I just wanted to kiss her really bad, even more than usual. I walked to my car to see Owen waiting by it. Oh, hey Owen, I said, walking over and getting his attention. Hey there, party man, he said, giving me a fist pump. Hey, Owen, my boy, what's up, I asked, pulling out my key. I just wanted to invite you to my party on Friday. Th this one's gonna be even more hardcore, he said. Really, man? I asked, a, a smile a smile appearing in my fave as well as his. I, I think they meant to say face. Whoops. <laughs> Yeah, so can you so can you make it? It it can you make it? It would be ten times more wicked if you came, he smiled, causing me to frown. Partying, my favorite thing too. That's until I met her. I I knew if I went to this party, I'd end up sleeping with someone who wasn't her. Hell, I don't even want to sleep with her yet. That would mean that that would mean the bet was done. Oh no. <laughs> This is gonna end so badly. Oh, I can see it. It is gonna end badly for him. Yeah. Oh, no. I, I'd have a hundred and I'd never see her again. I, I want this to last forever. <laughs> uh, sorry, man. I have a vacation to Malibu soon and I need to pack. And I need to pack, I said. An, apolog an apologetic smile on my face. Oh, all right, he said in an understanding voice. Maybe. Next one maybe? Ne next one maybe? All right, dude. I said, holding out my fist. Holding out my fist. Yeah, man. He smiled, giving me a fist pump. All right. See you later. I said, opening my door. All right. Bye, bro. He said, waving while I pulled out the parking lot. I drove to McDonald's immediately. Why? Because I already packed everything in my car last night. Even the food. That's what coolers are for. It it, it didn't take that long before I found myself in the McDonald's parking lot where Bridget was already sitting on the steps of her trailer. I I put I put the car in I put the car in park and watched her and watched her head shoot up, her golden eyes on me. She was wearing a dress that was mixed between orange and salmon, with her golden locks in, in a high ponytail, where 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 she was wearing the same colored orangish orangish high heels. The heels were very short. She looked even more gorgeous than usual. Hey, I said walking out of the car walking out of the car while she stood. Hey, she responded, hopping off the steps and walking over. I heard there was going to be an eclipse today, I said Well, I said while a grin appeared on her face. Really? She she asked giddily. Yeah, and we're going to go see it, I said. Well, what are we waiting for, she asked, jumping in the car get, jumping in the car giddily. I laughed and followed her into the driver's seat. I, I started up the engine and started to drive to the park. So, so how was school, she asked, making me laugh. Since when did you- since when did you care, mother? <laughs> I asked, making her elbow me in my side. Don't- don't chat- don't chat- don't chatatize me- me. I'm trying to create small talk, she said, making me laugh once again. Well, well, it was school. Oh, by the way, my cousin Dakota Milton's coming- coming with us to Malibu, I said. Wait, as in Dakota- Dakota Milton the model, she asked. Yep, yeppy duty. Yuppie dudette, I said. Oh my, I'm wearing I'm wearing the dress from her clothing line right now. And wait a second, you are related to a model? She asked dumbfounded. Well, yeah, actually too. My cousin Amy's a model, and my cousin my cousin Sammy's an actress. I said. Damn, what the fuck? <laughs> e apparently, yeah. Damn, Jess is rolling in it. He's got like two. He's got like three famous people in his family what the hell <laughs> yep <laughs> jeez famous blood much she said chuckling right bridget this caused me to laugh more like good jeans man that's how you come to find me irresistible i said oh you think <laughs> putting my arm over her shoulder <laughs> She laughed and showed my arm and showed my arm off her shoulder off her shoulder. Don't get cocky, cowboy. I shrugged and pulled her into the parking lot into the parking into the parking lot of the park. Whoa, this place is gorgeous. Gorgeous, she said, stepping out and looking at and looking at all the trees and grass. Wait till you see the place I'm about to take you, dudette, I said, popping the trunk. What well, you can see the eclipse in process, she said. Looking at the sky where a black circle partially overlapped the sun. Well, let's go get some some good seats, sh shall we? I said, 
grabbing the basket of blanket while sticking out my arm. What are you doing? She asked. Eyebrow quirked up. You know, like old, like olden dudes and new deaths. I, I explained. Oh, she said, taking my arm. We shall. I smiled as we walked to the sidewalk and followed it until I, I took her off course, and then we found a lake with swans. Oh my gosh, she said, covering her mouth. This is amazing. I know, I know. And as long as you, and as long as you get them some food, they'll leave you alone. I said, throwing a loaf of French bread to the birds. How, how did you find this? She asked. Eh, you know, I was running then I kind of tripped and fell and fell and voila, paradise man, I said, making her laugh. Well, I thought it was clum- Well, I thought it was clumsy, she said. What, what, she said while I, what, while I set up the blanket and the basket. You, you want, you want PB&J or veggie sandwich, I asked, unloading two bags of sandwiches. Sandwiches, she asked, sit, sitting down on the blanket. What could I say? I'm not a cook, I shrugged. She laughed sweetly. Veggie, here, I said, tossing her tossing her the Ziploc. Professional wrapping too, I see, she said, opening the bag and taking out the sandwich while I rolled my eyes. <laughs> this is so cute. This is so cute. <laughs> if I wanted to be a chef, I would be in culinary school, I said, opening the PB&J bag and taking a bite out of a sandwich. Man, I want to do this. That sounds so romantic. <laughs> I know! Alright, that's it, Kenzie. Me, you, a lake, we're gonna go take a picnic. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yep. <laughs> Speaking of school, what are you majoring in, she asked, delic delicately taking a bite out of her sandwich. I'm getting a general degree. I don't know what I want to do yet, I said, look, lo looking, looking her eat her food. Or watching her eat her food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she responded. Wait a second, I said, stuffing the rest of my sandwich in, in my mouth. What? She asked. We, we, we need weed. A pick. We, we, we. Oh, because he's like talking yeah. about eating the sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> we, we need weed. We need a picture to, 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 to weather. I said, my mouth full. What are you saying? She. She asked, laughing. I simply took out my phone and put the camera on timer. Tw twin seconds, I said, getting up and, and picking her up. What are you doing? She asked, laughing wildly. Tweez, I said, smiling at the phone while she laughed and looked at me, smiling happily. <laughs> oh, this is so cute! God damn it! I want this! <laughs> me too! The phone made a quick sound. Then, then, I, then I set her back back on the ground. Picture? She asked as I swallowed my food and nodded. Yep. Yepers? I, I responded looking at the picture. I immediately fell in love with it. Her eyes were glistening in the last glimpse of sunlight. Her white teeth were showing as she smiled at me. Her face red from laughing. Jeff! Jeff, look! She said, pointing at the sky where the black circle was finally fully covering the sun. Whoa! I said, dropping the phone. Dropping the phone, I went over to, to her by the edge of the lake. The sky turned red as the yellow light surrounded the black circle. I looked over at Bridge, who was smiling, awestruck, as she looked up at the sky. It was one of those moments where I only saw her, like like she, like like she was her, like she was her, like she was your who world, <laughs> smiling happily, smiling happily while her pink lips surrounded her white teeth. Her face looked purely happy. Like, like she was a little kid, little kid looking at candy. Her eyes looked up at the sky. A little light left shining onto her face, ma ma making her golden eyes stand out. Her blonde locks flowed gently in her ponytail, letting the cool, cool breeze control it. I knew I loved her, but I never felt it this much. Oh my that was god! So <laughs> He's a simp. I love it. <laughs> yes, let's go. This is great. Yes. The romance. Yes. The build up. And For he's real. finally gonna kiss her, I think. <laughs> it's it's real right now. Bridget, I said, er earning her attention. What? She asked in her sweet voice. You're beautiful. You're beautiful, <gasps> I said. Oh my God. Her 
Oh my gosh, they're- Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I need this in my life. <laughs> what the <Yes>. hell? <laughs> what? What? She said flustered. I mean it, I said, cupping your face with my hand. <laughs> her lips quivered as she responded. I know, I know. <gasps> This is adorable! <laughs> oh, this is written so well. Her small hand reached up and grabbed and grabbed my hand, which was on her face. I leaned in slowly, looking at her face, so gentle and precious, like an angel. I could feel her soft breast, her soft breast, and and the hitched as as my lips moved closer to hers. Then the worst possible thing happened. My my phone rang. Playing the ringtone, can't touch this by the Mick Hammer. Yo, by MC the MC Hammer, Hammer, my guy. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I murmured, getting up and going to my phone, which read Duncan. What? I answered angrily. Dude, you invited you, you invited Dakota to come with us? He asked. That's what you were calling me about, I screamed. Well, yeah. Do do you know do you know how much attention we're gonna get with a model coming with us? He said, making me groan. So? I thought you liked attention, man. I said. Remember our, remember our last trip when a girl talked to me? When a girl talked to me? Cordy fucking broke broke her arm, he said. Oh my god. <laughs> well, don't just talk. Well, don't. Well, just don't talk to them, I screamed. What's up your ass? Damn. Did I interrupt a little something with Malibu? He said, making me groan. Fuck you, Duncan, I said, hanging up the phone. Jeez. Jeez. These guys are My violent. phone then but <laughs> Right? <laughs> right? My phone then then vibrated again. My alarm going off saying my next class was in ten minutes. Shit, Bridge. I gotta go, I said, turning off the alarm. My next class is in ten minutes. Oh okay, she said, standing up. We we packed up and left quickly, getting in the car and leaving. Before I knew it, we, we we before I knew it, we were in front of McDonald's. Thanks for the date, Jeff. It was fun. She smiled, getting out of the car. Well, thanks for going with me. I said, scratching the back of my neck. I'm gonna catch up on protesting. So see you in Mal. So see you in Malibu. She said. Yeah. Well, bri well, bye, Bridge. I smiled, letting her wave. Bye. She said, walking up to the trailer and opening up the door. I groaned. I groaned and threw my phone phone in the cup holder. Fuck you, Duncan. She. <laughs> I mean, he ruined it. <laughs> I mean, true. I mean, true. He did ruin the moment for for those two. So I would have killed him. for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Alrighty. Since you read that whole thing, I, I might as well read all of chapter eight. Okay. Only seems right. <laughs> yeah. Bridget POV. This is it. Our big trip to Malibu. <laughs> Hold on, let me move this a bit closer. Okay. You guys packed? Asked DJ, putting the last of his stuff in his duffel bag. Yeah, I think it's gonna be nice to go on the beach. I even bought a new swimsuit, said Don happily. Oh, I. Oh, yeah, I forgot they're going with us. I thought just Bridget was invited. <laughs> yeah. Nope, they come too. Yeah, thank God. DJ is yes. so cute, and Dawn is amazing. I I love them. <laughs> Last time I went to the beach was was when my poppy took us when I was twelve, and Al Alberta got second degree burns. Said Scott. Jeez. I was beyond excited. I got to surf again. Oh, the good memories I had riding the waves. <laughs> The endless blue ocean, sparkling in the sun, the wet sand between your toes. The ocean was truly an amazing place. I fucking hate the beach. <laughs> uh, it's like the worst place you could bring me. You know, yeah. like, you know, like the question of like mountains or beach. I would pick mountains every yeah. time without fail. <laughs> Fair. I think that's everything. I said, zipping on my duffel bag. I looked around. We left a few things laying around, like our portable washing machine and fan, our extra clothes, and a few other things. Yep, now let's head out, said DJ. We had driven to the airport the night before, paying extra for the night parking. If only everything was free. We were supposed to meet Jeff at our at the terminal, and I was beyond excited. We quickly found him in his 
bedhead was adorable. I mean, he just probably just rolled out of bed, got the suitcase, and he was like, alright. Yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> Hi, Bridge, he said, scratching his neck. Um, hey, where do we get our tickets? I questioned. Over there, I'll show you, he said, giving a yawn. Why are you so tired? I asked, watching a few my fellow hippies leave to go get tickets. Corny and Duncan got into a fight, and trust me, it wasn't pretty to do that. He responded, rubbing his eyes. What? Do you know what it was about? I asked quietly, getting close to the blonde. Something about how he th she thinks he's cheating on her with her best friend, Yada. Oh my god, is it the fucking reference to Gwen? <laughs> oh, it probably is. Oh no. Oh my god, that stupid fucking love triangle from world tour oh no watch it actually be a thing by the end of this like they get broken out and then he goes with gwen i <laughs> <laughs> what but it's so obvious he's crazy for corny i i said i know that's what i said dude he said i sighed knowing that there's no sense to be knocked into those two jeff screamed the girly voice i turned to see none other than De Dakota Milton herself, walking over in the most fashionable outfit ever. Is that? I asked to myself quietly. Hey, Dakota, he greeted, making me smile excitedly. Oh, is this your girlfriend? He, she asked, coming up to us and taking off her sunglasses. Why are you wearing sunglasses inside? <laughs> right? Uh, I felt my face heat up and I looked at Jeff. He was also blushing, sexually running his hand through his hair. We're not dating, we said simultaneously. Oh, well, Jeff's not girlfriend. Hi, I'm his cousin. D she stuck out her hand. Coda Milton. Yes, he told me about you, and I wanted to say I love your clothing line. I'm wearing the blue hoodie right now. I cut off, shaking her hand excitedly. Yes, I can tell you have a good eye already. She smiled. I'm telling you. Gwen is literally nothing but a friend, not even a friend, an acquaintance, Duncan, defeated, Duncan <laughs> defended, walking to us with Courtney by his side. <laughs> wow, acquaintance is an awfully big word for a pig like you, sh she growled, making the, the punk sigh. They're, <laughs> they're gonna fight before they get the fucking- they're gonna be like this in the airplane, I can see it already. Yep. <laughs> Dakota, Bridget, said Courtney. Corny happily walking up to us. Well, I guess we're all here, said Jeff, watching Don, DJ, and Scott walk over to us. I guess, I said. Dude, no one sucks. Like, Dakota kind of invited herself, and Lashana kind of got kicked out. <laughs> Being yeah. like, damn. What the fuck? Poor Lashana. <laughs> That's true. Terminal 45, Malibu, CA is now boarding. Departure will be in 15 minutes, said the intercom. We all grabbed our bags and boarded the plane. I ended up being a ended up I ended up being a window seat across the aisle from Jeff. I smiled and waved at the blonde, earning his toothy grin and wink and a wink back. I rolled my eyes and then blushed. And then Courtney plopped down next to me. Her hair was in a braid. Is, does she even have long enough hair to be in a braid? Right? Yeah. In a braid. Very messy one though. She was wearing a white lace shorts with a purple top. Her eyes were red, and you can tell the girl was probably been crying all night. Damn. I guess she's really broken up about this fucking Duncan Gwen shit. Great. <laughs> I was too. <laughs> <laughs> we will now be leaving. Please turn off all devices until your signal to turn them back on again. We thank you for choosing Air Canada, and we hope to that you enjoy your flight, said the intercom, making me take a deep breath. It's been a while since I've flown in a plane. I looked to the side to see the, the tan girl turning off her phone. Hi, Court, I greeted with a smile. She turned her head and smiled. Hey, how's Jeff? She asked, making my eyes shift to the boy. He was talking to DJ and smiling. Looks like someone's bonding. Oh, good, I guess. Uh, you and Duncan? I asked, making her look down. Oh, crap. I totally forgot about the whole fighting thing. <laughs> Unstable, she responded, making me frown. Even though I knew I still wanted her to, to be allowed to vent off and such, Don had taught me pretty well in the ways of being a wannabe therapist. 
Why? I asked, preparing myself for the rambling. Well, it's kind of a long story, she said, looking back at me. Hey, we're gonna be sitting here for a while. I definitely got time, I responded. She sighed. Well, he's been hanging out with this girl a lot. They work together, and even though and even went to the same college as he and I, she's always been my best friend of who knows how long. It's just, every time I see them together, he looks happy. Generally, I, when, while with he and I, I, it just doesn't feel the same. I mean, we are very different. Maybe too many differences does that to you. He and Gwen have a lot in common. They're both punkish, they both like the same music and movies, all the basic stuff like that. I think he's falling for her way harder than he ever did with me. Oh no. That's gonna happen. No! Oh no. <laughs> Corny, your logic makes no sense to me, I said, earning a hunt in response. Yeah, I would earn a hunt in response to that as well if I said that. <laughs> it sounds like they're just friends. Taking from a girl who's with two other guys. One who's totally in love with a girl, I responded. But he's always so happy, she responded, trying to defend her position. You need to see him around you. He always has a huge smile on his face when he's with you. And differences are, and differences are what makes a healthy relationship. If you date someone who's exactly like you, then it won't be satisfying. I concluded, making her big black eyes blink in surprise. Really? You really don't think he's into her? She asked while I nodded. Well, it's con. Fuck, how do you <laughs> cons? I think consolate consolation. It's consolation, at least. Thanks for listening. No problem. I'm always happy to help, I replied, feeling a part of me twist. You've never gotten along with people this well, even helping them. What's changing you? My gaze turned back at the blonde who was fast asleep, making me laugh at myself. Him. Yay! <laughs> I love this! <laughs> Ooh. Death POV. I woke up to DJ shaking, ch shaking me vigorously. Jeff, man, wake up! We were supposed to we were, we were supposed to leave five minutes ago. Huh? What? I said, o opening my eyes to see Bridge, Courtney, Dakota, Duncan, the flight attendant, and DJ towering over me. <laughs> oh, he's awake! Jeff, come on, we have to leave," said Bridget, making me sit up. Huh? Where are we? I said, sit, still startled from the from the suddenness of being awake. You landed in you. You landed in Malibu five minutes ago. Me, me being being the kind flight attendant, being the, being the kind flight attendant, I I am. Let them wake you. L <laughs> let them wake you, said the flight attendant. Voice extremely annoyed. <laughs> Bridget then then looked then looked over to him to let to let out an awkward laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. The boy rolled the boy rolled his eyes. Just, just get your friend up. Oh, 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 oh! Thank you for flying for Air Canada. Yada yada. You, you get the chest. Just leave, he said. I immediately smiled at him, all, apolo all apologetically, and and while they gave me, and while they gave me a hurry up look. Sorry, dude. I'm kind of a heavy sleeper. I said sheepishly, grabbing my bags. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Please ex, please exit the plane before I get before I get fired. Stated the flight attendant, rolling his eyes. Sooner rather than later, I exited the plane. That guy had something up his ass, said Duncan. <laughs> he, he was doing his job. What would you do if someone was sleeping and you didn't want want to wake them, said his girlfriend. Wake them, he answered, making me laugh. Nah, dude, I have to admit it. He wasn't the chillest guy on earth, I said, making Cordy scoff. You guys are so stupid, she said, walking away from Duncan to Dakota. So how's your nap, cowboy, said Bridget walking up to me with a smile. Wasn't the best, but you know, it was pretty good for a plane ride, I said, causing both of us to laugh. I can't believe you slept that long, bro, said DJ, who was beside her. I'm like, I, I'm like, I'm like that one animal that just eats and sleeps. But add party to the list, I said, making Bridget roll her eyes. A sloth, she said. Yeah, one of those dudes, I said, <laughs> stuffing my fingers. <laughs> you know sloths are actually extremely aggressive, right, man? Said DJ, a small smile on his face. What the hell? The little dudes can't move, I said, surprised at the recently disclosed information. 
Bridget laughed sweetly, making my stomach almost rise to my throat. You have a lot to learn about animals, she said, patting my back. Her touch instantly sent, sent tingles down my spine. I could feel my face heat up. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I responded, trying to hide my red face. Guys, guys, are, 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 you, are you standing there and flirt all day? Or are we going to get to the shuttle, screamed Scott, who was holding, who was holding he and Don's bags. He and Don's. Um, shouldn't it be Don's and his? He and Don's? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Whatever. Grammar, gram, grammar mistake there. It's all right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this, this caused me, this caused me to turn, to turn even more red. Out, out of the corner of my eye, I could see Bridget do the same. Scott, man, I was wondering where you, I was wondering where you went, said DJ running up to his ginger friend. We've been wait, we've been waiting here for the past 10 minutes answered Don, chuckling lightly. Sorry, my idiotic cousin decided to sleep in, said Dakota, give it, giving me a sly grin. <laughs> I simply rolled my eyes and flip and flip and flipped her the bird. Wait a second, you're da started started Don, her eyes growing big. Dakota Milton? Scream screamed people from behind us. I quickly turned around to see a medium sized paparazzi coming our way. I could feel my eyes almost pop out of my head. How'd they figure out she was here so quickly? She's famous. What did you expect, bro? Okay, okay. Let's get on the shuttle. I said, grabbing Bridget's bag and running uh, and, and running aboard the bus. And bo aboard the bus. The rest of us followed quickly. I'm guessing the shuttle the shuttle driver caught caught on because he drove off after we boarded. Phew, that was close. Said Duncan, taking a seat. And to think the whole vacation is gonna be like. And to think the whole vacation is gonna be like that, sighed Courtney. It's not my fault I have a reputation, said said Dakota, flipping her hair. <laughs> I I sighed before looking down. Then I saw a hand in mind. I looked up to see Bridget's gorgeous green gold eyes staring into mine. Ooh, we got some romance again. Fuck yeah, I love romance. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, I said, taking my hand from hers immediately. It. I it's fine she stuttered before chuckling awkwardly. It it was it was only her, it was only her who had this effect on me, not any other girl. One moment I would be as cool as I don't know, Antarctica, and the next I would to and, and the next I would be totally flustered. Right. Just from the slightest mention of her, I sighed thinking about her, remembering how this week would probably be be the, the, the last I spent with her. The last time I saw that smile, looking into her eyes hear her sweet laugh i was going to be a mess after this week oh no before long we reached the beach where we were staying at whoa it's so pretty exclaimed don happily i haven't been in i have been to a beach for e in, in forever said bridget brushing her hair out of her face neither have i do dead i smiled giving her a, uh, giving her a high five we we then looked around to see a red-haired girl holding Holding a sign sign that said the Nelson Barlow party. That's us, said DJ, happily picking up his bags and walking over. The rest of us quick quickly followed in in, in tow. Hi hi you, hi, you must be the winners of the Malibu trip. You're you're 15 minutes late, she said, pushing up her sunglasses. Yeah, you can thank him for that, said Courtney, throwing her throwing her thumb back at me. Well, 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 you do. Well, 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 you do. Just let it go. Well, well, will you do. Just let it go. I said, sighing. No, no, no. You won't live this town till the day you die. Said Bridget, playfully hitting my arm. <laughs> I, I, as if, as if on cue, I felt my face face start to heat. The tour guide then took off his glasses. I'll be your guide to, to the duration of the trip. My 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 name is I. She started until her eyes reached mine. I felt my eyes widen as I looked at her. I, I should have known from her first glance, her her long red hair, her no. petite feature, and now her unforgivable chocolate brown eyes. Zoe, no, the what? romance is dying. Oh no! God, how many oh, more? Okay. Um, Maybe she won't ruin this for us. We yeah. still have a chance. <laughs> oh no. God damn it. Why does Zoe have to be in fucking Malibu? <laughs> right? <laughs> Go pick another fucking area, my guy. Go away. 
Exactly. Bridget's point of view. Zoe? Jeff asked, looking at the girl. She then smiled awkwardly and started to laugh the same. D wait a minute. Didn't this girl cheat on him? <laughs> With fucking Mike? <laughs> oh wait. my god. Yeah. Oh no, this is gonna end so badly. Oh my god, why? Why did you do uh, this, Zoe? Uh, <laughs> Zoe, no! <laughs> I suppose to, I was supposed to introduce myself, cheater, she said. Wait, huh? So the rest of the people around me. I felt nothing but pure surprise. Zoe, is that really you? I asked, wide-eyed. Oh, hi, Bridget, she trailed, now looking very guilty. I couldn't help it, my urge to hug her. What? No, that's the last thing you should do. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, I, this is Bridget's point of view, I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Um, ask, ask her how she's been. What happened to her and Mike? Ask for forgiveness. Explain why I was so harsh on her. And tell her none of it mattered to me now. I went with the urge and ran up to her, enveloping her in a hug. You should have at least said hi all those years, I said. Oh, yeah, you should have at least said hi all these years, I said, feeling a pit in my stomach. I know. I just don't know you- I didn't know- I didn't think you wanted to see me, she said, eyes seeming gla glassy. Zoe, said Dawn happily, joining me in a hug. DJ soon followed, while the others stood around. Hi everyone, said Zoe, now visibly starting to cry. Okay, stop, stop, you're making me cry. She- wait, said Zoe as we- we got off of her. She brushed away her tears, still laughing. We better- okay, we better. <laughs> I smiled, now feeling my eyes become glossy. Well, right now I'll be your tour guide. So, I better do my job or I'll get fired, she says sniffling. Alright, so we have you guys booked for two honeymoon suites and two just deluxe rooms. So, can I have the names of who will be in what room? Courtney Barlow and Duncan Nelson will be in the honeymoon suite, said Courtney, making Duncan go wide-eyed. I didn't think they would go for that, especially since, like, <laughs> they're fighting right now. Right? <laughs> we are? he asked, making Courtney smile lightly. Yes, we are, she smiled, causing the boy to blush uh, lightly before smirking. <laughs> Okay, and who will be taking the next honeymoon suite, she asked, writing down the name on a small notepad she got out of her pocket. I immediately looked back at Jeff, who was looking at me. I smiled and cocked my head towards Zoe. He shrugged before he smiled. I was about to say we would take it, when I felt a sudden tug on my sleeve. I looked to see Dawn, giving me the intense puppy eyes. Now, <laughs> Dawn was already adorable when she wasn't trying to be, but when she, she is, she literally... It's literally like you can't refuse. I sigh before nodding my head. We'll take it. Don Aldini and Scott Lamb. Of course his fucking last name's Lamb. <laughs> Said the girl. Thank you, Scott, go wide-eyed. His jaw then dropped while Don rushed over to him and gave the poor farm boy a hug. He, he was blushing a bright tomato, like, like a bright tomato, while she smiled brightly. I then looked at DJ. Even if I decided to share a deluxe room with Jeff, it would have to leave DJ with some stranger. Even though DJ m may have had a great people skills, he was always very awkward with pretty girls. <laughs> Devin Jones. Oh, oh yeah, Devin Jones and Jeff Carlson will be in a deluxe room," said Jeff, smiling brightly. It seems like he read your mind. Okay, and so the final room we go to Bridget Thompson and asked Zoe. Dakota Milson, answered Dakota. Wait, are you the model Dakota Mil- started Zoe, going wide-eyed. Tilton, yes, we've had a lot of this today, answered the model, smiling sheepishly. Well, alright then, I'll make sh sure to show you your rooms. Follow me, please, said the redhead. Fate was, stra was a strange thing. You catch your boyfriend cheating on you with one of your best friends. S said best friend leaves you for the U.S. with said boyfriend. 
You start living on the road and end up running into your best friend's ex. And you ended up falling for him. It's like that... Oh, fuck, I didn't... <laughs> I couldn't bother to forget to philosophy. pronounce this. Philosophy. Yep, philosophy. Yep. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> that we were all connected, and some strings will connect, divide, and end up reconnecting with the same string further down. We followed the girl down to the resort where she where she grabbed four sets of keys. Room 347, Courtney and Duncan. Room th 340, Scott and Don. Room 234, Jeff and Devin Jones. And finally, room 235, Dakota and Bridget, she said, smiling while passing out the keys. Cool. We'll see you around, Zoe. We should catch up sometime, said DJ, smiling at the girl. We definitely will. I'll let... I'll let you guys all settle into your room, she said, as everyone started to take off, but I stayed and grabbed the girl's arm. When do you get off of work, I asked, making her spin around. Um, around 6.30, why? Zoe asked. Meet me for some coffee, I responded, a smile on my face. <laughs> dot dot dot. Alright, time skip. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> this smells so good. Oh, this feels so good, said Dakota, sprawling out in the bed. I'm more excited for the surfing. I figured I would buy a new board while I was here. I smiled, grabbing my wetsuit from my bag. Dakota suddenly got up and grabbed my arms. So, tell me about you and Jeff, she said, a curious look on, in her eyes. Eh? I responded, starting to blush at the mention of us together. You know, how long have you guys been dating? When did you guys have your first kiss? Have you done it? Tell it all, sister, she said, making me start to panic. We're just, we're just friends, I, re I explained, backing away from the model. Oh, really? Then what was that eye contact at the mention of a honeymoon suite? She asked. A, dev a devious smirk appeared on her face. I instantly blushed more at the thought. This girl doesn't miss anything. I, I, I trailed before she snapped her fingers. Gidget, she explained, making me even more confused. <laughs> What? I asked, eyebrows quirked up. Your ship name. And of course, you would have seven kids, all of which will be the god I will be a godmother of. <laughs> There'd be Jerry and Claire and Steva. She trailed off, making me might me sweat drop. I'm just gonna change at the beach. Bye, Dakota, I said, slowly walking towards the door. Oh, don't forget about Drayden William, she said before I shut the door. <laughs> Gosh. These are- dude, she's like us, for real, for real. <laughs> I sighed, relaxing that I wasn't in the same room as- as Romance Thirsty Dakota, and then started to walk as I bumped into a figure. Oh, hi, Bridge, said Jeff, pushing up his cowboy hat. Hey, I smiled. What are you doing over here? Well, I was gonna ask if you wanted to go swimming. I tried to ask Courtney and Jeff, but they're busy doing other things. And I forgot Don Scott's room number, he said. Oh yeah, I was about to go out there myself, I said, making him grin. <laughs> Great, so you, me, DJ, and possibly Dakota, he, he said. Dakota's too busy rambling about, about our ship name and seven children, I said, making him blink. Seriously? He groaned, making me chuckle. Yeah, something about Gidget and... I started before the sound of the door opening interrupted me. Did someone say Gidget? Asked Dakota, popping her head out of the door. <laughs> hey, do you want to go to the beach with us? We were going to go swimming and... Jeff started. Beach? Yes. Swimming? No. Even though the salt water gives your hair perfect waves, it dries out the skin. And I need to work on my tan for the photo shoot after the trip said the model, now opening the door fully. Well, okay then, bruh. I guess we'll be waiting for you at the shore, said Jeff, as his cousin shut the door. Sooner or later, DJ Jeff and I made it to the shore out of the dressing rooms. While Jeff and DJ were showing off their washboard abs, I honestly felt a little little to cover up my wetsuit. All the early girls were wearing these sexy bikinis, and I honestly felt outdone. Wow, Bridge, you look great, explained Jeff, making me blush. Really? I asked, surprised that his eyes weren't on the other girls. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. 
You're not showing an awful lot of skin. I respect that, he said, blushing while rubbing the back of his neck. Thanks. Now, do you want to hit the surf? I asked, making him look up brightly. Hell yeah, he explained. While we were out getting surfboards, Dakota had found a spot while, while DJ, who brought Bunny, decided to set, set up a, a camp as well. Right after I got the board, I immediately hit the water. Jeff in tow. This is going to be great, I explained, starting to swim out. Totally. But I haven't done this in forever, so I might be a little rusty to do that, said Jeff, catching up to me. We sat across from each other laughing and waiting for the perfect wave. And then it came. The most beautiful wave I've ever seen. Wow, we said in unison, looking in awe. I eventually averted my gaze to the from the wave to Jeff before smirking. Last one there's a rotten egg, I explained, starting to paddle towards the wave. Bring it, he responded, starting to paddle too. He eventually made it there first, and ready my stance. And that's when I saw it, the perfect opening and the perfect wave. I smiled before taking off, going through the barrel wave. Woohoo! I, I shouted, touching the sides of the wave, water splashing everywhere. I eventually made it through, lucky enough not to be caught in it. Jeff, on the other hand, not so much. I, I can see it now, like, you just, he gets tumbled and you see the surfboard just go, Phew! <laughs> like, in the yeah. air. <laughs> he splattered out water as he resurfaced, and I patted over to the boy, laughing all the way. That was sick, man, he said, getting back on his board. We both laughed for a while before we saw another good wave. Race you again, he challenged. Come at me, cowboy, I said, while we once again started to paddle towards the wave. And this went like this for hours. We were one of, there were one of the times we, you never forgot. One of the times we were, you were genuinely happy. One of the times that you, you were spending with people you love. But, all, but like all times, even good ones have to come to an end. We ended up paddling the shore where I saw Zoe waiting. Oh, hey girl, I said, holding on my surfboard while while I stood soaking in the salt water. Hey, I just got off of work, she smiled. Whoa, it's 6.30 already? I said, making her laugh. Time flies when you're having fun, she responds, making me laugh too. Sorry, Jeff, I gotta go, I said, waving to the blonde. Why? <laughs> but where? I uh, He asked. I'm gonna catch up with Zoe, I said. Oh, okay, he responded. Bye, I explained happily, grabbing my bag of clothes. Bye. Man, doesn't- wait, didn't Je like, Bridget know that that Jeff got cheated on? Like, didn't he say that at some point? <laughs> yeah, he did. Wow, and you're just gonna go catch up with this dude's cheater ex? What the fuck? <laughs> right? Uh, what is wrong with you, Bridget? No! <laughs> right? Like, girl! That bad move! She was crying about that, too. Like, what? Yeah, we, we got the flashback, and then we got, like, the, like, they were sharing McFlurry, and he was just like, Yep, that's what happened. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> we then got to settle down to the resort's cafe, and we both had just received our beverages. So, how's it been? I asked, stirring the cream con- Fuck, uh, stirring the cream around. <laughs> <laughs> Mew has actually, has actually been treating me very well. Mike's got a job in a big fancy company, and we also just bought our first house. Must be fucking nice, Zoe. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> she says, taking a sip. I then felt the atmosphere drop at the mention of his name. She must have sensed it, because she then sighed heavily. I guess I you want an exclamation for what happened, she said, putting down her drink. I think I deserve one, I said, looking at her. Yeah! I deserve an exclamation as well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Please. Well, let me think back to when all it started. About when you two started dating, there's always this, I don't, there was this, I don't know what it was, force, charisma, feeling that it's always intruded me with Mike. He was so funny, he was so cute, he was just, seemed flawless. I never... I never meant to cheat on Jeff or fall in love with Mike. It just happened. Yeah, that's that's great. <laughs> that's a wonderful excuse. I didn't mean to cheat on him, but it just happened. What the fuck does that yeah. mean? <laughs> I, I love when people say, like, 
Just as a stupid side note, when like someone cheats on another person, they say it's a mistake. No, no, no. well, yes, it was a mistake, but it was multiple mistakes. You don't just skip yeah. to that part. Exactly. <laughs> you had every chance to be like, maybe I shouldn't do this. <laughs> yes, exactly. Come on, Zoe. Yeah, L. This is this is L moment. <laughs> so, yeah, I agree. L Zoe moment. Yeah. And I meant to tell Jeff earlier. It's just our relationship was going so smoothly. He was just so it was just a sweet guy, and I didn't want to break his heart. I feel like you broke his heart more by cheating on him. But you know what? Th maybe that's just me, Zoe. <laughs> yeah. But as fate would have it, I ended up breaking his heart anyway. And yours, she said, making me look away. I'm sorry, Bridget. I just- I fell in love. And you know what they say, love can make you do some crazy things. Crazy, stupid things. I have done n nothing but regret that, and I didn't tell you or Jeff about it. And you guys had to figure it out in the worst way possible. I know I'm asking for a lot here, but can you forgive me? She asked, voice crawling as her eyes became glossy. No. <laughs> Please do yeah, not no. forgive her or else not, I will be please. mad. <laughs> Zoe, I forgive you bef before it even happened. What do you mean? What? Bridget! <laughs> I smiled, hold holding a hand out to her. Huh? She <laughs> responded, a stray tear rolling down her face. Well, it's what friends do is forgive. I'm not gonna score you forever because of a fucking high school relationship, I responded, making her burst out crying. Really? She asked, between tears. Yeah, I responded, giving her a reassuring smile. Thank you, it just, it makes me so happy, she cried, grabbing some napkins from the napkin holder. I then looked around to see more and more people starting to look at us. Is she, was she always a crybaby? <laughs> She's crying a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, oh. yeah, just stop crying. It's attracting a lot of attention, I said awkwardly, making her laugh. She dabbed her eyes with the, the napkin before smiling. You know, Jeff has really ch changed you for the better. She sniffed, making me blush. You know, since you're dating and all, she said, making me sigh. We're not dating, I replied, fi taking, finally taking a sip of my beverage. Really, but the way he looks at you and she's sorry before I cut her off. I'm not his type. He said he doesn't like hippies, I said, making her blink. Really? She said, starting to grin. Well, yeah, he told me day one we met. I responded, making her grin even wider. Now your personality has improved. You're still as clueless as ever, she responded, blowing her nose in the napkin. What's that supposed to mean? I said, quirking my brow. Bridget, she said before chuckling. He's so obviously in love with you. I blinked at her, blank expression on my face, for responding, Eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit, this is the last chapter! Oh, let's go! Oh my god, we're gonna finish this book today! <laughs> yeah, let's go! Finally! Yay. Chapter 8, I think. Uh, cha chapter 11. Chapter 11, okay. Yeah. Jeff POV. It was officially the last day of our trip, and Bridget and, and Bridget has been acting kind of funky ever since she left with, with Zoe the first day. Duncan and Courtney made up af af after a lot of talking and body language. And surprisingly, a paparazzi had it come had had it had it had it come her come her looking for looking for Dakota yet. I just wish that Bridge Bridge was talking to me more. Hey, man," said DJ, walking to our room. I was just laying on my bed, watching watching beat Bobby Flay for for the fifth time in a row. Hey, I responded glumly. But brother, brother, what's got you in a mood? He asked, going to going to get Bunny. It's just Bridget's been acting really funky, you know. She's she's kind of been avoiding me and and, and being really awkward. And and this is the last week I'll, I'll ever see her. And I started. Whoa, bro, this is all because of Bridge? He said while I nodded in response. Why don't you just take her out on a date or something? And oh, are you watching Bob Bobby Flay? I I don't know, dude. I trailed. You 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 never you never know until you try, brother. He said. Eyes fixated on the TV. Then I perked up, a smile itching itching on my face. You 
you know what? You're right. I'm, I'm gonna go ask her, I responded, jumping out of the bed. Yeah, you go, Jeff. Huh? No, I can't believe he... I can't believe he chose that dish. That's Bobby's weakness. I, screamed DJ. Sur, 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 she, screamed DJ, surprised on his face. I rolled my eyes before exiting the room. I hur I, 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 I hurriedly rushed down to Bridget's room, where where she so coincid coincidentally happened to be exiting. Hey, Bridge! I waved, catching her attention. Oh, hey! She responded, surfed an arm. I could see a faint pink appear on her cheeks. You know, it's the last day. On, it's the last day of the trip and all. I was wondering if I could hang out later. You know, just the two of us. I said, rub, rub, rubbing, rubbing the back, the back of my neck awkwardly. A date? She suggested, a smile appearing on her face. Yeah. So you wanna? I asked, making her smile grow deeper. Sure. I was gonna go surfing again. You wanna come? She asked. Of course, of course, brah. I said, smiling happily. Let's go, we, we had just <laughs> Yeah. Let's go. We had just finished our group dinner and it was about 8.30. I put on my pink shirt and brown shorts and prepared for the date. I took a deep breath, looking in the mirror. This is probably the last date you'll ever have with her. Oh no. No, what the fuck? She's gotta stay or he f goes yes. with her. I can't Come deal on. with this rejection in my life. <laughs> oh no. This is going so good. I don't want it I don't want it to end like this. No. <laughs> Damn it. I I know. Make it good. I'm out, dude, I said, looking out at DJ he would looking at, at DJ who was back to watching Bobby Flay. Yeah, go get him, brother. Go get him, brother. He smiled, sticking some popcorn in his mouth. What the hell is I, Bobby Flay? Do am I supposed to know who this was? <laughs> he's a uh, he's like some famous chef, and he uh, has a show called Don't Beat Bobby Flay, which is like a cooking competition. Okay. Where you were like the contestants? Yeah. So I'm guessing it's like like Master Chef or something like that. Kind of. Yeah. It's basically a comp. It's it's basically a cooking competition where these contestants like go like head to head against like Bobby Flay and such. And I think they win some kind of prize money if they do beat him or huh. something. I'm gonna have to check this out. So. It just sounds pretty interesting. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I, I smiled back to wave, exiting the room. I ended up running to the beach shore where I already saw Bridget waiting. Hey, I yelled, making her turn around. She was in a blue hoodie, a blue hoodie with her hair in a ponytail, wearing some long shorts and sandals. Hey, she smiled, her voice angelic. Sorry, I'm kind of late. I said, pushing, pushing up my cowboy hat. It's not like I, it's not like I was going anywhere. She chuckled, making me laugh, making me laugh along with her. I guess, I, I guess you did. I responded, sitting down on the beach. We sat there in silence for a while, looking at the vast ocean. It was beautiful and smelled like her. I, I suddenly fell I suddenly fell a pit once again thinking about it. I looked at her about to take the silence when suddenly she asked me something. Jeff, can I ask you something? She said, hugging her knees to her chest. Um, sure, Dudette. Is something up? I responded, making her golden greed eyes lock with mine. Do you love me? She said, making my eyes widen. I felt my face heat immediately at the mention of it. Uh, w w what do you, you mean? I stuttered, an awkward smile on my face. I mean, uh, forget it, she said, looking back at the sand. No, like, what kind of love? Like the friend love? The love love? I asked, grabbing her hand. This got her attention again, her beautiful eyes big. I don't know, just look. She started before I cut her off. My lips finally <gasps> came in contact with hers. Finally! They soft and tasted like the ocean. <laughs> I could tell she didn't know what to do, so I so I broke it off. She looked at me wide-eyed, her face so red red you could you could mistake it for a tomato. I'm sorry, I guess I ju I started before I felt my lips come in contact with mine once again. I quickly kissed back. I wrapped my arms around the surfer girl. <gasps> After a while, we broke off breathing heavily. Let's go! Finally! Yes. Romance! Yes! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> They're so cute! This sucks. What the fuck? It's gonna end this chapter! <laughs> I know! <laughs>
<laughs> I do love you. I have sense for the moment we met, I said, smiling softly while cupping her cheek. I could see a soft tear run down her cheek. Really? But I thought you said you didn't like hippies, she sniffled. You, you, you changed me, Bridge, for the better, I said. She then started to cry even harder as I wrapped my arms around her. I love you, she cried as I hugged her tighter. I decided to do it Han Solo styled and respond, I know. Do you really have to leave so soon? Asked Courtney, breaking her hug away from Bridget. Yeah, we are way behind. I wish I could stay. I wish I could stay longer too. She re she responded, the blonde. I'm a miss you, bro. Said I'm a miss you, bro. Said DJ, giving me a first pump. Just take good care of her for me, dude. I said, smiling at the big Jama Jamaican. <laughs> okay. We 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 just had. We, we just had returned from Malibu last night, and today was the day the hippies had to leave. Dakota had to leave for a photo shoot, le leaving just us seven. It was, it, 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 was, it was a goodbye I had, been, I had been dreading since the day I met her. The, the, the day I met her, the time where I could not see her for who knows long. The time where I might forget the softness of her hand, delicate smile, her gorgeous eyes, and blonde hair, her stubbornness, scent of caramel vanilla in the salty ocean where i might forget the essence of bridget just communicate with me somehow facebook letters calls texting i don't care said courtney Start starting to tear up as duncan wrapped her arms around her don't worry i will bridget laughed catch you later malibu said duncan giving her a fist pump bye bye delinquent she smiled ca causing duncan to roll his eyes and, 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 and it came for her to say goodbye to me. She simply smiled and jumped on me. I caught her in a hug and swung her around. Oh, Why? This is so cute! Why is it gonna this end? This is so cute! Yeah! Don't stop thinking about me while I'm gone, she said as I lowered her from, from the air. You, you don't have to remind me, I smiled before giving her a kiss. The people around us cheered as we broke off happily. Wait, I got you something, I said, reaching to my pocket. It was the, sa it was the same CD Zoe has given me for, for my birthday birthday years ago. Pet peeve, she asked. I remember you telling me how you liked the Beach Boys. And, 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 and I just had it laying around, I said. I, I, I said, fl flipping it to the back. L l listen to this one and think of me. Oh, choosing a song, choosing a song for us, I see, I see she smiled, taking the CD from me. Well, you know, yeah, I said, making her laugh. I smiled at her before the, the, sound, the sound of honking interrupted us. Come on, we were supposed to leave 29 minutes ago, said Scott from the trailer. Da, da, Dawn at his side. I made eye contact with Bridget as she grabbed her shoulders. Meet back here, a year from now, the same spot, the exact same time, she said. I'll remember to put 1049 my, on, on my calendar, dudette. I smiled, t t I smiled, taking her a final hug. She broke it off and gave me a quick peck on the lips. Um, 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 af before, before long, she had to go in, into the trailer, where we where we waved them off at, 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 as they as they rode into the distance. You know, I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna miss that crew," said Duncan, arm wrapped around Courtney. "Me too," she said. "Yeah," I responded, a light still on, still on my face. I I still on the spot on the spot where where they where they were last. What, what did you think, dude? I smirked, making them go wide-eyed. No, they said in unison. I quickly ran over to my car, turned up the volume all the way, and turned on the radio. What did it... Oh, it's a song. Wouldn't it be nice if you were older? <laughs> then we wouldn't have to wait so long. I sang to the lyrics, making them groan. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cheesy, responded Courtney, make me smile. I'll never forget you, Bridget. What the, oh, the fuck? That's how it ends? <laughs> yeah. God, my prediction so. was wrong. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I really thought she'd been like, you bet it on me for a hundred dollars? How could you? Right? I thought that's where I was going. <laughs> yeah, me too. But that's how it ends. I'm kind of relief you did it. But like, kind of yeah. relieved it didn't though. Yeah, because that, that's a, that, that's such an old trope with fucking Wattpad stuff to have that happen, right? So I'm kind of happy it did it. But like, 
She didn't yeah. like actually stay. He didn't join her. Right. Oh, this is it. This is it. They went to Malibu, yep. had their first date as a couple, and then that's it. Yep. I guess so. What the hell? <laughs> well, I enjoyed this. Me too. <laughs> this is such a good book. It really is. Now we're gonna find it. another Bridget X Jeff that is just as good as this one. Yes, we need to. Yeah. Well, I guess we get to remove it from the wheel now. We finally completed a book. Holy shit. Let's go! That wasn't like in one sitting. <laughs> right. Yeah. Alright, well, I guess that means it's time for us to to spin the wheel and see where we're gonna land on this week. This should be interesting. Alright, I would say if it landed on wouldn't it be nice thing, we wouldn't read it. To be fair. We got nothing else <laughs> to read, so it's anyone's game. Yep. Oh shit. Ooh. Okay, I guess That's we're reading an Ella Hanjo X Heather. <laughs> I didn't this think that would happen. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't think that would happen. Alrighty, well, I guess if you guys would like to read this book, I'll have a link down in the description down below for you guys to look at as well. Maybe read with your friends if they like Jeff and Bridget. Who yeah. knows? <laughs> <laughs> and then thank you once again, Kenzie, for joining me for, for another oh, Wattpad please. session. I, I always appreciate the energy that you bring to these sessions. <laughs> and, I am very, and I am always happy to be here. Yeah, make sure to check out their channel. I'll have it linked down in the description down below. Uh, check out their stuff. They make some some good Disventure Camp stuff. And uh, what's the other one called? Is it this? Is it still called Disventure Camp? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Check out their stuff. It's really good. <laughs> mm -hmm. But anyway, my name is Phoenix, and that was Kenzie. And I guess we'll see you guys next time for another Wattpad reading. Yep. Bye bye. Bye.